You've probably heard the debate hard hat versus foundry. And this is very similar to the iPhone versus Android battle going on every day on social media with each of them having their loyal supporters. But now, when we talk about blockchain development, it is not about picking what is trendy. The most important thing is using the tools that are right for you and your project. And this is because the tool that you choose is going to impact how fast you develop to how fast you debug. So, don't just speak based on sentiment, okay? Now, this is actually a problem because when people get into the Web3 space or into the tech space in general, there are a lot of tools to choose from. There are a lot of frameworks to choose from. So it's very easy to get confused as a beginner as to what is the right tool for me to use. And that is why I am creating this video, okay? Let's talk about hard hats and foundry. We're going to know like what they are. We're going to talk about the differences, the best use case scenarios, and all of those good stuff. At the end of this video, you're going to have a clear picture of which of these two is clearly the best fit your development style better. Let's dive in. Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Glory Faze Emmanuel. I'm a blockchain developer and developer advocate. I'm very happy to have you join me in this video. Just in case you're yet to subscribe, please subscribe so that I'm encouraged to make more videos like this. But yeah, let's just jump right into it. Hadat versus Foundry. I'm going to start off with Hadat. So what exactly is Hadat in case you're wondering? Hadat is a JavaScript based framework built and maintained by Nomic Labs. It is designed to be inclusive and user-friendly, especially if you're coming in from a web development background. If you're already familiar with JavaScript, Hadat is a natural choice because it allows you to integrate JavaScript frameworks like ETA.js. It allows you to write your tests with JavaScript and TypeScript even. So yeah, if you're already familiar with web development, then <laughs> how that is like a very easy choice for you. So this means that when you're writing tests or interacting with the smart contracts, the code is going to feel familiar with what you have on your front-end development side of things. For people that are transiting from Web 2 to Web 3, the learning curve is easier with Hadat. On the other hand, we have Foundry. Foundry is provided by Paragame and is built using Rust. But interestingly, instead of JavaScript, Foundry actually uses Solidity to write unit tests. And now this is actually great if you want to stick to the Ethereum side of smart contract developments without adding any extra layer. Because you're going to be writing the unit test, you're going to be writing the smart contract all with Solidity. That's cool, right? So you don't need any JavaScript framework or ethers.js to do anything in Foundry. Now Foundry is actually known for being fast and it actually executes tests more quicker than hard hats. This will make a very big difference when you're working with large code bases and projects or when you're testing large volume of transactions. So if performance or speed is your priority, then Foundry could be the best choice for you. Both Foundry and Hadat are command line tools, so you have to get comfortable working with your terminal. It's important to know that Hadat's strength lies in its simplicity, so it is easier for developers to use, it is beginner friendly, setup process is smooth and straightforward. And I personally believe that it is easier to run Hadat on any operating system from Linux to Mac to Windows. On the other hand, Foundry could be a better option for more experienced developers because it may appear more complex beginning from the setup. So if you're using Windows, your the setup process is a bit longer than what it would have been with Hadat. But then while it might appear complex, I think it is a better option for people who are going into security or who are more focused on security or maybe more advanced tooling. Now one of the biggest strengths of Hadat is its flexibility and ecosystem. Now Hadat has a large ecosystem of tools that you can easily integrate into it and use it. So from ETHAS.js to Waffles 
and the likes of them. There are a lot of tools that you can easily integrate into your hard art environment for easier development. Another cool stuff about hard art is that debugging is a bit easier. I wouldn't say easier, but then debugging is cool on hard hat. So if you need to interact with a live blockchain, like deploying a multiple um, contracts at the same time, hard hat will give you a wide variety of plugins that you can use. But the downside is speed. By the time you're now dealing with a lot of data, hard hat is going to start lagging. It is going to feel a bit slow in comparison with Foundry. On the other hand, Foundry is known for speed and efficiency. So because everything is executed and written in solidity, it literally like eliminates the extra layer of, of abstraction that comes with hard hats. Because um, solidity is native to the Ethereum virtual machine. So like I said, when it comes to large projects where performance is a priority, Foundry might be a better option. The trade-off for Foundry is that it is a bit more harder to learn, especially for beginners. But the truth is, once you grasp it, it will become very easy for you to use, just like any other tool or technology is. So that should not be a problem. So the high speed of Foundry also allows it to perform extra features like port testing. If you are into security and you want to probe your smart contract for weaknesses, then Foundry is definitely like the best one to go with for those scenarios. So a big part of choosing between two of them come from language. So if you don't know JavaScript and you're learning smart contract development, then you could just stick with Foundry because you're going to be writing your smart contract and writing your test with solidity. So you're good to go. But then if you are coming from a traditional background like web development and you know how to use JavaScript or TypeScript, then how that is going to be a, a better landing for you. If you're doing something that is more into like development cycle, like you write your code, you deploy your, like you write your smart contract, you deploy your smart contract and then testing it, all of those things, how that might be more suitable for your needs. But then if you're going advanced, you're more interested in speed and performance, security, and maybe smart contract auditing, then Foundry might be your best bet. Because um, Foundry offers a lot of tools for you to be able to run and break your smart contracts. So in conclusion, both um, Hadat and Foundry are powerful tools for blockchain development, and you don't necessarily need to choose between them. You can use the both of them depending on your particular need at a time. Because ultimately, mastering these two tools is going to give you more versatility as a blockchain developer. Each tool has its own strength and knowing when and how to use them will help you work more efficiently. So yeah, good luck in your blockchain development, your smart contract development, or whatever you're going to be using these tools for. I really hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, drop a comment, share this video also, and I'll be more than grateful. Thank you so much. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.